Hello everyone, this is the beginning of the modular allowance allocation, competitive effects and carbon leakage in the UETS. It's quite a dense module, so we are going to start by refreshing some basic fundamental concepts. First of all, let us remind that the, the relationship between allowance, com, allowance allocation, competitive effects and carbon leakage, as well as some fundamental concepts related, related to it. In any carbon market, you will have a supply of allowances among distributed uh, regulated entities, typically thermal power plants and energy intensive industrial plants. You will have a, a demand for allowances from the same entities and an equilibrium carbon price that matches the two, supply and demand. So with a positive carbon price, regulated firms will face an additional, an additional cost, the cost of carbon. Depending on the, on the characteristics of the output market in which these firms operate, it will be possible for them to pass through at least pass part of these additional costs onto their final consumers by raising output prices. For the remaining part, they will be either able to escape it by reducing emissions, which is great, but it generally has a cost, or they will necessarily see a reduction in their margins of profit or in their market shares. And that's what we're concerned about, these negative competitiveness effects. Now, in presence of such effects, carbon leakage is the inc consequent increase in emissions overseas, specifically in countries with a, with a less stringent carbon regulation. As you can imagine, this is a problem, carbon leakage is a problem, because it reduces the environmental effectiveness of carbon regulation at the global level. Free allocation is a way of reducing emissions uh, no, pardon, of uh, preventing uh, competitive effects and therefore carbon leakage. Um, in principle, free allowances should be given just enough to cover that part of carbon costs that cannot be passed through by firms uh, without uh, a negative effect on their uh, market shares. In practice, it is very difficult to uh, estimate with precision this ability of pass-through in different sectors. At the same time, you can imagine that giving overly, handing over overly generous uh, free allocations is problematic because it creates uh, windfall, it generates windfall profits, difficult to, to justify. Now, I would like to stress two effects that part of the literature emphasizes, but on which there is not enough um, empirical evidence to have a broad, uh, a very broad consensus, general uh, consensus. Namely, one effect is uh, that free allocation can reduce the effectiveness of, the, of carbon prices to reduce emissions. And that happens if firms do not recognize the opportunity cost of holding free allowances and therefore do not recognize the incentive to reduce emissions. The other effect is the effect of low carbon innovation on, po on the, the net positive effect of low carbon innovation on productivity of firms and therefore their competitiveness, which is what we know as a Porter hypothesis. Now, you should have understood now that, uh, by now that the, uh, the regulator of a carbon mar market has quite a challenging task, which is to pursue three, inter at the same time, three interrelated objectives, namely to provide a significant carbon price by controlling in some way the supply of allowances, to safeguard the competitiveness of regulated firms, and finally to minimize the risk of windfall profits. That's all for the moment. Thank you for watching.